What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for clicking on the video. Thanks for watching. Um, so I wanted to talk about Tropic Marin Pro Reef Salt. <clears throat> After a lot of research, watching a bunch of videos, and of course, you know, BRS, you know, kind of recommending and showing how the, the Pro Reef Salt or Tropic Marin in general kind of mixes up really clear really fast and stores really well I decided I was gonna switch from instant ocean reef crystals which I've used the whole time I've been reefing had a had a really nice uh, SPX dominant tank uh, for years until I made a mistake and, and crashed it so I've been using instant ocean reef crystals have not had a problem it does mix up really dirty you know if you mix up reef crystals I would always not always from the beginning but I started to as I was mixing it run it through a felt uh, filter sock and the filter sock after you know one brute trash can worth of salt would be brown you know so it's obviously got some stuff in it <clears throat> that's a little dirty other than that I really never had problems with it uh, this tank has been started on it no problems but, you know, one thing is that reef crystals have a DKH of around 10. So, not as big of a problem for me unless I did a really big water change. But, you know, I've been wanting to keep my DKH around 8.5 or so, maybe even closer to 8. And, you know, if you do a big water change with a, a 10 DKH uh, salt mix, you, you know, can get a, a swing, you know, more so for like... A buddy of mine has a smaller tank, 60 gallons, and he's been keeping it closer to eight. You know, he does a, a water change with reef crystals and he gets a, a, a DKH spike, which, you know, you just don't want spikes. You want to maintain a, a certain level. So <clears throat> at, uh, I believe, seven to eight um, DKH, yep, yeah, that's what it says on the box for the Pro Reef, you know, you can do a big water change and you know either get your nutrient export or up those um, trace elements um, and you know improve the health of your tank for instance my buddy's having problems just his corals aren't doing well and, and i think a good solution you know would be to do a big water change but he really can't without getting you know a really big uh dkh spike so that's another reason that i kind of wanted to switch but um, I belong to you know several groups on Facebook, and one in particular, the administrator, um, the person who started the group, who I believe to be a pretty knowledgeable person in the aquarium hobby, um, said after years of recommending the Tropic Marin Pro Reef as you know the go-to salt, has said. He does not recommend using it anymore because. So, and I have this from a statement that Tropic Marin posted to its own Facebook group that I found on Facebook. Um, they did not outsource production from Germany to Turkey. They have, I believe, two plants in Germany and they opened another plant in Turkey to help with distribution because if any of you use this salt, you know a lot of times it goes out of stock and you can't get a hold of it. Um, so they opened a, a plant in Turkey. Tropic Marin says they hold the same standards in Turkey, you know, standards for, um, you know, the purity of the salt, you no know, contaminants and stuff like that. Um, but a lot of people online have been having problems with their corals. I believe, you know, more, more um, like SPS and LPS with, um, you know, rapid tissue necrosis, RTN, and SDN, slow tissue necrosis, where, you know, their corals are just doing bad, looking pale, and then they just start to slough their um, flesh off. And the common denominator is supposedly 
these boxes and buckets of Tropic Clearing Pro Reef that have been coming out of Turkey. And I guess on the bucket, it has a metal handle, it's out of Germany, and it's got a plastic handle, it's out of Turkey. And I myself bought five boxes of, of the, the Pearl Reef during the Black Friday sales, and four of those boxes say manufactured in Turkey, which is just off camera. Uh, so I don't feel comfortable using these salts uh, from Turkey. They may be fine. I, I can't say for sure. You know, this is kind of anecdotal. I'm going by what people are saying online. It's just a lot of people with the same symptoms. And I think even ICP tests haven't been able to show anything. I saw one person commented that the salt mix is high in tin. I don't know if that's true. So I just wanted to make this video. I don't see any other videos on it. There's just a little bit online on Facebook. I didn't search too thoroughly on Reef to Reef, but I think somebody mentioned that there is a, um, a post about it, that people are talking about it. I would assume there is. But there's definitely a lot of people on Facebook. I mean, the group that I'm referring to, the post, uh, there was, last I looked, over 350 replies, and I, I went through all of them, and there was multiple, multiple people, all with the same symptoms from the, this salt out of Turkey. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you would think ICP tests would show something, um, you know, high in, you know, a metal or some sort of contaminant. So I really don't know what the problem is yet. Hopefully, um, people start doing some tests. In that same post from Tropic Marin, I think they said they were trying to replicate the problems that people were, were having with this salt. Um, they don't know anything yet. They do have a link. If you search for it, you can um, enter your information and your batch number. And I think I didn't, I didn't go through it um, fully because I wasn't home at the time. But I think it's just them gathering research to see if there's a, a common theme, you know, from batch numbers and from the salt from Turkey. But I don't. Nobody knows anything yet. So, you know, I mean, just something to be mindful of if you use this salt. If you're having issues that you don't know the reason you're having the issues in your tank, and you you got you know check the check your your buckets, check your boxes. Uh, on the on the front of this box right here, just out of camera, right here in the middle, under where it says 44 pounds, it says manufactured in Turkey. And I have one of the other boxes, luckily, that says. Um, manufactured in Germany um, so I mean that's all I have to say this does not mean by any means that this is definite I don't know I'm going you know from hearsay but it's it's coming from a lot of people uh, so I just wanted to make a video you know keep it in mind um, I don't know what you would do if you are using this salt and you had problems you know switch to you know, the, the normal instant ocean switch to, you know, Red Sea or something. There's a lot of other salts out there, um, you know, temporarily, you know, do smaller water changes, but definitely something to keep in mind if you're having issues and you didn't know why and you're using this salt and it's from Turkey. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like the video, comment. I appreciate it. Take care.